Hi, my name is Anna Darnley. I'm 25 years old, just turned, and I am a design lead in Accenture's Innovation Centre in London, and I'm also a trustee. So my name is Jens van Egmond. Um, my job is manager DC at Cardano, and uh, I transferred over from the Netherlands two years ago. Uh, but in the Netherlands, I'm still, still a trustee of a pension scheme. Uh, I became a trustee when I was 27. My name is Lorna Russell. I am an account director and partner at Lansons, which is a reputation management firm. Um, and I work in policy there. Um, and I'm a trustee of a local government pension scheme for the London Borough of Camden. My dad actually works in finance, so I think it's fair to say that pensions was always on my radar. It's not something I particularly knew a lot about. I just knew that it was very important to have one. I knew pensions was important, um, but nobody really seemed to know what was going on. And I thought it would be a really good opportunity for myself to learn more about pensions, but also to perhaps get a bit more of a diverse perspective on our board and open up that dialogue about, you know, what pensions are, why they're important, why we should have one. Um, and that's kind of how the interest grew. I feel like that I'm kind of in a unique position because I've been an advisor to pension funds and I've built pension solutions, but I'm also a trustee. So you might argue I'm kind of on both sides of, of, of the table. And uh, yeah, I really hope to leverage that position to improve decision making by both trustees but also policy makers. So the process for becoming a young trustee was quite easy actually. So I submitted an application where I talked a little bit about um, why I thought I would make a good trustee, why I was interested in becoming a trustee, what I thought I would bring to the board. I was then invited for interview and on successfully passing the interview I was made a trustee. I've really enjoyed the challenge um, and the experience. Um, working in financial services I get to work with asset managers um, and pension funds from the other side, so sort of representing them, um, lobbying government on their behalf, speaking to journalists, but actually um, flipping it over and getting the chance to grill them about why they're not um, providing enough uh, benefit for our members has been a really interesting experience. I don't think it's important to have extensive pensions knowledge to become a trustee. In my personal example, I have no finance or pensions background whatsoever. A lot of uh, things in the pension system just are the way they are because that's how it has always been done. And I think young trustees are often in the best position to challenge or modernize uh, such things. There has to be that, that enthusiasm and that desire to learn because at the end of the day, if you're becoming a pensions trustee, you do need to be interested in pensions because otherwise the perspective that you bring isn't as valid because you can't contribute because you don't understand what's going on. I don't think it necessarily follows that just because you're young you don't have experience. I think a lot of trustees, certainly if they are appointed at a young age, would have um, the experience from work um, or you know financial services background. Um, but I also think that um, it is important to have diversity on boards, whether it not just um, young members, but also across different um, skill sets, you know, different genders, races, class. Everybody in the scheme has to feel represented. And these days we really think it's important that young people are engaged with their pension. But if they only see very old trustees, then they will think, well, that's just an old people thing. So you need to have uh, people of all generations in the trustee board in order for all the members to feel represented, else they won't engage. There's a number of ways that having um, a more diverse board leads to better member outcomes and specifically in personal experience we've had situations where my opinion has differed from other people on the boards and that's actually led to a really rich um, discussion on how we make decisions about member outcomes. As a young trustee um, we give a lot of energy um, and something that add a bit of dynamic um, energy into the board that might not otherwise be there. We're also not necessarily afraid to ask questions that might sound stupid um, but need to be asked and I think some of the older members, more experienced, might be afraid to ask. Schemes shouldn't be afraid of, uh, have nothing to be afraid of when getting a young trustee on board but that doesn't mean that there shouldn't be a more active uh, effort to get young trustees involved because it's so important that people are engaged with their pension which again only works if people feel represented. Generally, boards um, with their recruitment process, you know, they should make sure that they are sort of following um, Quality Human Rights Commission standards, make sure that they have a code of conduct for diversity, make sure that they are 
um, you know, them themselves have an accountability for diversity. It's diversity as a whole that we need to be um, improving. I think we've started around gender diversity. Obviously, there's a couple of examples of generational diversity now. I think ethnic diversity is an area in which we're still incredibly lacking. And there, and there are other forms of cognitive diversity that we really need to start talking about as well. I think it's incredibly important for us to start encouraging younger people to get more involved with pensions and I hope that you know as a younger trustee by taking part in interviews such as this I can start having a broader conversation and other people might look and say oh hang on a second you know maybe I can get involved as well maybe I don't need to have an economics degree maybe I don't need to be a financial services expert maybe I don't need to be working in pensions you know maybe this is something that where I could have a real impact. I do hope that um Boards will see young trustees that are out there active, you know, going to conferences, speaking to people and even, you know, doing interviews like this. I hope that that will encourage them to look for more um, young trustees. If you get that dialogue going and you talk about why pensions are important, you talk about why it matters, you talk about the, Im the impact that it'll have, you know, from a selfish perspective, the impact that it will have on their quality of life later on. Um, you know, I, I think people will be interested, but I think the key is to do it in a way which isn't patronising, which doesn't say, you know, I come from a place of having 40 years experience and you know nothing and I'm going to tell you what to do. You know, I think the key is, is going to the table and saying, this stuff is really serious, you know, and this will impact you. It will impact your quality of life, your family's quality of life. Um, let's have a conversation.